Welcome inside the Arena Auditorium. Jonathan Schlesi, Steve Gosar. What a game it was back and forth all the way through. A game in which Wyoming didn't lead for more than three and a half minutes in the entire game, but they put themselves in position to win it there at the end. Okay. They led when it was most important at the end of the game. But a great back and forth game. Um, I thought both teams kind of came out and we did see a little bit of rust uh, early on in the game as they started to try to figure out what each other was going to do and how they were going to score against each other. But then I thought Fresno really took it to the Cowgirls. They sped up the tempo. They started picking up in the three-quarter court and uh, took that lead into halftime with the momentum. But then at the end, it all came down to a buzzer beater. Jay Johnson had the opportunity to redeem herself there after a Cavender three, and then she makes this big put back there at the end. Huge put back there at the end and redemption, you know, just a great second effort. But I think that was the, the theme for the whole second half. The Cowgirls started attacking the Fresno State in pressure. They started getting higher percentage shots. They were getting the ball into the paint. They were getting second opportunities. And those second opportunities came from hustle efforts, just like we saw at the end of the game, to win the ball game for the Cowgirls. When you're talking about the comeback, it was a 10-0 run there in the fourth quarter. We take a look back at that with these highlights. It was just once they started beating that zone defense, that was the change in the game. Oh, definitely. And the Cowgirls just started attacking. It was more of a mindset than anything. Their mindset changed. They started attacking that three-quarter court, took it opportunistically, and they just weren't so intent on passing it around the perimeter. They were getting it into the paint, and they were getting it kicked out for great shots. And that, that whole difference led to that run in the second half for the Cowgirls. Well, it's definitely going to lead way to a great game here on Monday as you look at the score there, some stats from... The top players wide have been leading the way for the Cowgirls. Obviously, Haley had a fantastic game for Fresno. Just wasn't enough in the end. Fantastic play by both teams. Oh, fantastic. Great, great, uh, uh, great effort by both teams. You know what? Hannah Cavender started off a little bit slow there. Haley really led the scoring for him. And, and Maddie Udi, you could see that she's been off for a month. A noticeably different Maddie Udi um, and the preseason Mountain West Player of the Year. But I think it's, it's going to just take some time to find your good rhythm. Well, they don't have much time. They've got one day they've got Sunday to rest and then we've got a game Monday these two teams meet up again here in Laramie Wyoming a great game here 65 63 buzzer beater win for the Cowgirls here today